This video is a true story. Last year, I went to visit the Dead Sea, the lowest point on Earth, only to realize that the Dead Sea is dying. Factories are using its water and rivers have dried up. And when you realize that this sea is disappearing, you get discouraged. You lose hope and you give up. Because humans, you say, have killed the environment. But not all humans. The following video took 1,000 days to make and it's about the humans that are fixing this planet. In the country of Denmark, Tobias is renting out his kayak for free in exchange for picking up trash. From one kayak, they save tons of trash floating on the river. In the country of Sri Lanka, someone found a way to turn the poop of elephants into real paper and made a company out of it. In the Galapagos, Megicho single-handedly picked up hundreds of thousands of cigarette butts and made statues out of them just to keep his island clean. I'm all in. In the Seychelles, people are planting new corals just to revive the dying ones. This way, they can revive an ocean. Yeah! In the country of Tanzania, I saw Lou who takes glass waste and makes building blocks out of them. This way, her team can recycle the entire island's waste. For every one house, we can save 50,000 bottles and save you money. In Papua New Guinea, yes, even this remote country, people recycle cans by throwing them on the street. Cars drive by, crush the cans so they can be recycled as a community. Good job! In the country of Ecuador, these guys collected trash, compressed it, and made real household items from it. They even built an entire house from 1.5 million milk boxes. In Peru, Marino is using his science degree to clean water. He made his lake go from this to this, and now he's cleaning even bigger lakes. This isn't just people who are helping the environment, it's also entire countries. In Costa Rica, the entire country gave up on its army to invest in education, health and the environment. The country has no army, but it's clean. In Iceland, they built power plants that run on the energy of volcanic water. And in Singapore, the entire country's trash is treated in a way that's clean and environmentally friendly. So their trash island looks like a resort. It's true, the Dead Sea is dying, but a lot of humans are trying. And as a wise woman once said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has.